tonight for sure so uh, we just want to be real careful with everybody to make sure that we keep the aisles as open as we can anyway so uh, we will go ahead and turn this over to Howie and he'll do the introductions here so thank you guys for coming and go for it Howie what did I ruin brother <laughs> what? Did you want to hear it what did I not listen to? Alright, here we go. Colas's Bible Bookstore, and it's about a ladies' Valentine tea. It's going to be on Sunday, February 2nd at 2 p.m., right here at 2635 Highway Avenue in Highland, Indiana. If you need to know any more information, you can call them at 219-972-1000. That's 972-1000. <laughs> 
and uh, a ticket is required. They will take uh, donations of $25 to get that ticket. <laughs> or more. <laughs> Any questions about that? See how we. Bring your friends and enjoy an afternoon of fellowship, tea, delicacies, and more. All proceeds will benefit the Fair Haven Center for Women in Highland, Indiana. Fair Haven for Women in Highland. That sounds like a pretty good cause to me. Pastor, would you open in prayer, please? Is that what you spell? Let's everybody stand. We'll pray. God, have it way. Hallelujah. Mighty God, right now, as we come to you this hour, God, we're thankful for everybody here tonight. Thankful for your spirit. Thanks for what we're going to hear here tonight. God, we ask you to move in this place. Let us be in one mind and one accord. Pour out your spirit up on each of us tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you the praise. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the miracle? Well, okay. I might as well break the bad news to you. <laughs> the miracles aren't with us tonight. However, those miracles are not here, but there are miracles here. So if you need one, yeah, try and raise your hand. There's a miracle. I'm a miracle. Any miracles we got in here? Oh, yeah, there's all kind of miracles in here. We're just not going to let you come up and say it. <laughs> Good, but we don't have that many microphones. Hey, I want to just say what a privilege it is to be here tonight. And now I'm going to get a little fidgety with these glasses because if I don't have them on, I can't see you. And if I have them on, I can't see the words here. So I'll be taking them on and off. So bear with me with that, okay? Now, if I take them off, don't get offended, okay? Don't mean I don't want to see you. <laughs> it just means I need to see the notes. So, uh, what a privilege it is to be here tonight. I want to uh, give honor to the uh, owners of this uh, establishment here, Colas' uh, Bible Bookstore, uh, Dale and uh, his wife, Sherry. We appreciate them uh, having us through the invitation of Howard. Yes, give a big I will encourage each and every one of you, yeah, this is a business, and I would encourage each and every one of you, walk around and see some of this great stuff that they have that, uh, you know, kind of furthers the gospel. There's Bible books, and there's uh, music, and all kind of wonderful things they have here. Uh, take a little time. Uh, they, they won't, they won't uh, shut you off, okay? So... Uh, we're here to sing you some songs. Who, who wants to hear some good gospel songs tonight? I do too. But you know what? I'm going to tell you. Um, we're going to try to sing a list of songs here that hopefully will touch your heart. Hopefully they will uh, encourage you. Hopefully they will uh, make you leave here different than when you came. Almost like a church service, right? Yeah. Well, you know what? We're here singing about the the best thing to be singing about, and that's our God and Savior, right? Amen. And, you know, this first song, it's called I'll Take It Anyway, uh, Brother Billy. First of all, let me just say this. First of all, what a privilege that it is here for me tonight to be sharing this stage with these two guys right here. Amen. Man, this guy right here, just last minute, this guy right here, last minute, I said, hey, can you guys help me out? Oh, man, I'm there. I'm there. And that, uh, I, I, we've never played together. <laughs> we've never played together, but yeah. <laughs> we're going to be fine, man. <laughs> yeah, I heard enough to know we're going to be okay. So, it, it is a privilege. How many of you know who this gentleman here is? I know a lot of you. Most of you do. Brother Billy Sampson on the bass guitar. Uh, uh, the only worst part about it is we don't get to hear him sing tonight. Although, you know, if, if we get enough awe, oh, oh, we might be able to get him to sing. I don't know. But <laughs> he's like, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Brian does not sing. Um, and, uh, but, <laughs> I 
I know. What, what were you going to say? <laughs> that, did you say, did I hear somebody say, thank God? <laughs> I'm kidding, Brian. I'm kidding. No, I just want to tell you it's a privilege to be here tonight. A privilege to be. I look around the crowd and what a wonderful crowd it is. A lot of friends, a lot of faces that are here. And um, we hope that we sing a song that encourages you tonight. I don't know what some of you face. I don't know what some of you went through today. But I will tell you this, that if you let God speak to your heart, you can walk away from here encouraged. Amen. That's all my desire is tonight, is to, to get that across. That's my desire. Um, I appreciate everybody that's out here. Wow. Aren't you glad that snow kind of went past us? Wow. My wife said, well, you might not have many people out there tonight if you get snow. I said, well, thank God there was no snow. <laughs> all right. Well, here, let's get some music going here. This first song is called, I'll Take It Anyway. You know... You ever hear somebody, you ever hear somebody when they um, start talking about getting married? And you ever hear them say things like, well, we're going to get married as soon as we get a house, and as soon as we get about $20,000 saved up in the bank, and as soon as we get everything just right, then we're going to get, yeah, when, I, when we can afford it, I got a job that's secure and solid, and we're going to get married. Boy, I'll tell you, I'd have never got married if I waited for all that. <laughs> but, you know, and, and on the same thing, you ever hear somebody say, I'll start living for God as soon as I, I got a few things in my life I got to change. I got a few things I really need to straighten out. I don't want you straightening out nothing. That's what he does. You know, we'll never, ever serve God if we wait until we deserve to serve Him. We'll never serve Him. And so I'm, that's what I like about this song. It says, I don't deserve it, but I'll take it anyway. Because He said it was ours. So here we go. In the key of F. Why? 
times they say I'm missing all of the good times. Why I live for Jesus they can't understand. But by the time they realize I'm truly missing, I'll be missing tribulation, living in glory land. Well, by the time they find me missing, I'll be living over there. There'll be no reminiscing of all the sorrows we'll have down here. And by the time they look around them, they discover that I'm gone. I'll be in that mighty chorus. Singing around the master's throne I guess I'm missing an awful lot of earthly treasure and I'm not famous and I'm not a millionaire But I know for sure I'll not be missing heaven Where I'm known to all as rich and that beyond compare son and how he thought he could go out there and just do it all right by himself well I'm going to tell you the sooner we realize we can't the better off we are here's a song called Back in the Wheel
was young, wanted to be free, and you know, daddy wasn't as smart as me. So I loaded up my stuff, and I headed for sin. All but eating with pigs, it gets a little rough, and just a little bit of sin was more than enough. So this dummy went crawling to baddie again. Back in the wheel of the Father's love, when there's always more than enough, everything I will ever need. Back in the wheel and on the right track, you know I've had my fill of looking back, everything I will ever need is back in the wheel. We need to stay in God's will. the same road that led me out, led me back to my father's house, and when he saw me coming, I found that I was welcome still. Back in the wheel of a father's love, where there's always more than enough, everything I will ever need. I feel a looking back, you know, everything I will ever need is back in the wheel. Janet.